Hi guys! How is everybody doing? If you hear some fun singing in the background, it is, it is shower time in our house. So it also means lots and lots of singing. You hear any of that? I have um, a husband and a three-year-old little boy. So, for those of you who um, are the single female living with men, know the kinds of sounds that are coming from my bathroom right now. <laughs> okay, you guys. If you once you join in, can you say hi? I'm really hoping that I can see everybody's comments and I can um, interact with you because sometimes. As we all know, Facebook can get just a little bit wonky. So, um, I'll give it a minute here for you guys to kind of jump in. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, Elizabeth. Okay, good. I can see comments. Caitlin. What the heck kind of a Facebook name is that? Caitlin Luscious Malfoy Hernandez Wiggins. Uh, yes. Hi, Bruna. Hi, Sherry. Oh, good. It always makes me feel better when I can see people's comments because sometimes I can't and then it just is like, so do you guys have any questions? No? I don't know. I can't see. Hi, Lori. Hi, Jade. Well, Caitlin, I'm a fan. I want a derby name. So if you can come up with a derby name for me, I want one. Hi, Ashani. You guys, I'm so glad you're here. I hope this isn't a long training. I mean, like the last time I did one, it was like an hour long. Do you hear the noises coming from my bathroom? Hi, Samantha. I swear to God. I, so I was just saying, do you hear this? Oh God, please tell me that you just can't. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jessica. Angie. I just can't. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Kara. Okay, let me double check here and check the time. Okay, so um, for those of you who are watching the playback, hey, Rebecca, um, for those of you watching the playback, um, if you jump to minute four, that's when we're going to start uh, talking actual content and hopefully these noises from my bathroom. Oh my God, it is shower time in our house and we don't have a bathtub. So our little guy still has to shower with my husband. He's three and they just think that it's, um, okay, good, Jade, great. Yeah, <laughs> my, uh, our three-year-old Isaac is just hilarious when Joe makes like elephant noises in the bathroom. It's so funny, you guys, it's so funny. <sighs> Living with men. Living with guys. So, um, yeah, it's just like a zoo. I've never, I, this, like, I just, I like to think in my own mind that I live this glamorous life. And then I get snapped back into reality by elephant noises coming from my bathroom, which to be clear, I'm not really certain what end of the body they're coming from, which is what makes it so exciting. So, Okay, you guys, let's start talking about this because um, I swear, that, yeah, Bruna, it's like, it's just, it's just a free for all. It's just a free for all. And then like shower time will be over and I swear to God, it's like a male strip club running through my house. Just like naked men everywhere. Like my, my son will come out and be like, ah! and then my husband will be like, get back here, get back here, get back here. Like, and I'm like, oh my God. I had to tell everybody like multiple, there's gonna be a camera running in the house tonight. Just let that sink in. I've been saying that like for 24 hours now. There will be a camera running Okay, okay you guys, so I wanna talk a little bit tonight about um, how I do this interactive 
portable binder so that you guys can use it in your businesses if you think that it would be helpful to you. I've seen this done a couple different ways and I am always looking for the easiest, the simplest, the most frugal way to do a portable party, right? I think, I can't remember who it was, I think maybe it was Amy Wentworth asked if I was going to be talking about ones that I ship away or the, the, the throwaway portable parties. I am not. These are meant to be used um, within your communities. They're meant to be shared with people who um, you can, I mean, you could ship this if you want to. You definitely could, um, but you would need to get it back, I would imagine, because you're going to be purchasing, um, you know, some a couple things to make it work. So I want to show you the binder. Are you guys like sweating? Are you so excited? I know. It's, I don't know about you, like anytime I have the opportunity to go to an office supply store, I'm like, ugh, guess I have to go back to the office supply store. Oh man, what a, see ya. Like, and then I'm like out of there, you know what I mean? Like anytime I can go to the office supply store, I'm there. So the important thing about this binder is, um, you have to work really hard and be very thoughtful on making this a personal and a, a personalized shopping experience, okay? And that's kind of hard to think about because lots of different audiences are going to be viewing this. So you could have it in a doctor's office this week. You could have it in, you know, circulating, um, you know, your hair salon the next week. It's different, um, it's different audiences. So you're probably wondering, Leah, how do I personalize it to everybody who's going to be looking at it? To which I would say, awesome question, company member. Let me tell you how I do it. So I want everybody who shops with me to feel like, um, like I am right there with them looking through the pages. Like we're just kind of, you know, sitting on the couch and we're just like snuggled up and I have some hot chocolate and we're just, and I'm just like, mm, girl, you need to try that good hydration. It is so good. Like you want to be, you want to be there with them. You want to be present with them, whether your physical body is there with them or not. Okay. So you might be thinking to yourself because I went through, a, I went through a few portable parties that I, that I wasn't pleased with. And here's, here's why. Number one, I thought that it would be cute to make my own pages, to make my own, to my, my own graphics. And I don't have any kind of graphics knowledge, none. I sat down one weekend, taught myself how to use PicMonkey, and that's, that's the extent of my knowledge, right? So I sat down and I tried to make some graphics for a portable party. They came out so cute. They came out so great. But it took me about three days to do like two big fat yummy hand creams because it turns out I'm a perfectionist and I want to make sure like this spacing is the same as that spacing and if I use this font. So it was like super time consuming, right? So then I thought, okay, surely I have a friend on my friends list who has gone to, you know, graphic design school, who knows how to do stuff like this. So I reached out. I was like, who knows how to, you know, put stuff together in fun ways that makes it look pretty. I will pay you. And my friend was like, yeah, girl, I got you. But I could not get her on the same page as to what I wanted it to look like, right? So it became not frustrating, but I couldn't. I couldn't get my vision out to her, right? She, she didn't sell posh. Um, you know, I tried to explain what I wanted in this binder and she was like, so she would send me these graphics back that were gorgeous, but they were way too busy. There was like flowers and like, just, like it was just, it was just so busy. And I'm like, no, I need this to look, I need this. I want all the, pro you know, focus to be on the product. And you know, so I just, it wasn't, that wasn't working out too well. So I sat down and I was like, okay, let's get this back to basics, right? Anytime I get overwhelmed with posh, I sit down and I think to myself, 
let's get back to basics. And I think that that's a really important lesson to remember regardless, right? Like everybody gets, everybody gets overwhelmed with posh. There are so many good ideas out there. There's kind of some bad ideas out there, but you get wrapped up in all of this stuff and you're like, oh my God, if she's doing this, then I better do this. And if she bought this, then I'm going to have to buy this. And if she's saying this, I better say this. Like you can, it's so easy to get wrapped up in that stuff. And when you feel that, when you feel, cause my shoulders go up. Like when I start to like tense up and if I tell myself to put my shoulders down and they actually physically drop, I know that I'm, I'm a little too worked up. So I take a minute and I sit there and I think to myself, I need to get things back to basics. How can I make this simple on me? Because if I'm overthinking it myself, my customers are going to kind of feel that, right? And I don't want that. So guys, what I've done, this is going to blow your minds. Okay. I don't know if you, I know there's been a lot of trainings that have come out right now and a lot of pieces of advice that have said, if you haven't read through the catalog, the current catalog, shame on you. And I am here to say, if you haven't read through the current catalog, shame on you. It is so great. It's not just a posh catalog. It's a beauty catalog. It is like... It is, there is so much information that they jam packed into this catalog that it's seriously, when I sat down and read it, I was like, oh girl, I'm going to need, I'm going to need a drink to get through this. I mean, this is a lot of stuff. I read it. I reread it. I circled stuff just because I want to be able to train my customers how to best use this stuff. I want to, so much better than the last one, right, Sherry? It's so great. So I thought to myself, why fix something that ain't broke, girlfriend? Don't reinvent the wheel. Don't be thinking that you're better than everybody else. Why fix something that isn't broken? So my portable party is the catalog. You're welcome. If I had a mic to drop right now, I would. You're welcome. So here's, here's what I did. Here's what I did. This is my portable party. Okay. And you might think to yourself, because if, if I heard someone say that, if I heard someone say that to me, I would be like, but Leah, the catalog is such a weird shape. It's such, it's so big. Like it's so oddly like it doesn't fit in a binder. And I'd be like, company girl, company partner, company mate, you're right. It doesn't fit in a regular binder. And I'm not going to cut down. Um, hey, Bruna, I'm still new to the Posh Universe and I got to say the catalog was very simple to me. Yeah, really simple. It's so great. Sherry, what's awkward? What's awkward? It is, oh, you're, you're talking about the catalog? Yeah, it's just like, it's big, and I don't want to cut down pages. I don't want to be sitting there measuring, you know, the three-eighths of an inch to cut this off of, like, no one has time for that. So you guys, can I, do you want to finally see it? Do you want to see it? I mean, okay. Ooh, I wish I had theme music. I wish I could be like, like, have some sort of, you know, I said that I was going to do that in my, my, my team trainings, like, have, like, theme music, like triumphant, like dun, 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 something like that. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa, you guys, look at this sweet angel, huh? I had to back up. This thing is so big. Uh, look at this thing. Woo. Okay. So here's what this is. This is a scrapbook binder that I got on Amazon because guys I love me some Amazon Prime if I can't actually make it to the office supply store I'm hitting Amazon Prime Maggie this is a scrapbook binder this the measurements of this are 12 by 12 and it is a three ring binder okay so it's nice and big, right? Nice and big. And what's so great about this 
is that I can carry this with me. Like, I can pick this up and be like, okay, see ya. It's not weird. It's not awkward. It's not, like, hard to carry. It's not, like, it's just a binder. Did I come with the pages? It did come with the pages. Okay, hang in there with me, Alicia. Here we go. So, you can decorate the front of this however you want to. I want, I'm probably going to put, like, a business card on here or put something... I'm not gonna get too involved with the, with the front of this, right? Because it's gonna be, I want them to focus more on the inside of the catalog. You know? So don't get wrapped up in stuff like that, right? Like slap a business card on there and, and hit, hit the road, right? Okay, so look. Oh yeah, woo! I need some hype girls is what I need. I also need like a, like a track behind me. You know, like they have in like sitcoms, like I open the page and everybody goes, ooh, or like I open it and people go, Whoa! you know what I mean? That's what, that's what I need. So in here on this side, it's still a work in progress, but basically all I'm going to do is print out a page just on eight and a half by 11 inch paper and explain what this binder is, right? Basically, it's my binders are going to be, take whatever samples you want, girlfriend. I'm going to drop this off on Monday. I'm going to be back to pick it up on Friday. Go to my website. Here's my website. Choose your company's name from the drop-down menu at the, at the back. I don't want people to have to fill out forms. I don't, want I don't want people to have to, like, I'll still include some just in case people are weird about shopping online. But I'm gonna explain the party right here, right? Put my contact information here. So if you have questions, call me. If you need more samples of something, hit me up. It, just a basic explanation of what's going on here, right? You sort of paper and sticky sheets over the corners. But... Okay, hold on, Alicia. Hang in there with me, girlfriend. So these pages, this particular binder, did come with plastic sheets with plastic inserts, right? And again, everything in here is 12 by 12, okay? 12 by 12, 12 inches by 12 inches. Yeah, but I like, again, I said I'm kind of, I'm kind of an office supply snob. I mean, I don't know, it's just the way God made me. So I went and bought the heavyweight um, page, page protectors. I don't know. It's just something I splurged on. I don't know. Okay. So making one of these binders is going to take two catalogs, right? In each sleeve, in each plastic binder, it's going to have the front of one page and the back of another page. In between the catalog um, pages, I have black cardstock, 12 by 12 black cardstock. You can just buy it on, on Amazon. Search for black cardstock, 12 by 12. You can buy a whole pack of it, okay? So that gives this page some width, or, or some, I'm sorry, some weight. And it also gives you something to um, stick the pages to so they're not weird, right? I use the page, hold on, it's just, just barely out of my grasp. Hold on. Okay, I also got this sweet angel. This is a scotch tape, double-sided tape thing. I just got it from my local office supply store. And I take, I just put like some tape on the back of this and I just stick it to the, to the card stop. Right? So, okay, here we go. If you notice, when... When I thought about doing this training, I did not think about how awkward it would be to hold this binder and talk about it in the same way. Love me some Amazon, my boyfriend has <laughs> a weekly limit. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so here we go. Look how nice this is. Look how nice this is, right? If you notice, there's going to be some margins on this 12 by 12, um, on this 12 by 12 cardstock. Hang in there with me. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do on those margins in a second. Okay. So here we go. Here starts, here starts the magic, you guys. Kaboom! First up, we have big fat yummy hand creams. 
right? That's the first line of products that we talk about in our catalog. So what do I do for each product line to kind of make it, um, to kind of make it personal, to make it feel like I'm shopping with them, to make it feel like I've really put in some time to make this catalog great, right? Well, let me just show you. I don't know if you can see this. I mark my favorite products with a sticky note. This says Leah's favorite right there. I love me some Hello Sweetie. That says Leah's favorite. So what I did was I went through the whole catalog and I used sticky notes. That was when, um, oh no, Jenny, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope I don't. Guys, am I cutting out for everybody else? Hopefully the playback's a little better. Um, those were a little bit expensive, but these, these are page, page marker post-its. There's 500, there's 100 of each color in this, and I use it, I just put Leah's favorite, and I slap it on there. Leah's favorite, and I slap it on. Where, whichever ones are genuinely my favorites, right? I don't wanna, you know, if I don't like any of the foot products, which, like, your, like, check your pulse if you don't like our foot products, but then I don't put anything. Like, I'm not gonna lie to everybody. I'm gonna actually say, these are my favorites, these are my favorites. So, throughout the whole binder, my favorites are labeled like this. Some other ideas that you could use, you can just buy a bunch of heart stickers, and then on the inside cover of the binder, say something like, um, look for the heart stickers. These indicate my favorite, right? So, like, work smarter, right? You wanna be, just indicate your favorites, because they, the one question that I'm always asked, and I shouldn't be annoyed with it, but it's just like, I say the same things all the time, what do you suggest, Leah? What's your favorite, Leah? And I'm like, oh, well, I love Hello Sweetie Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream. Rubby Scrubby is basically my soulmate. Indigo Girl is by far my favorite. Like, I feel like I'm a broken record saying the same things over and over again. So I'm just gonna tell them. I'm just gonna tell them which one my favorites are. However you wanna do that, okay? Okay, let me try and pick this, this bad boy up again. Okay, so I mark my favorites. Then, when I was at the office supply store, I picked up some of these pencil packets, these pencil case, these things, pockets, things. Of course, I got Poshy Pink, and I put them in the binder, okay? This is why it's important to get a binder if you're going to give out samples, as opposed to the regular scrapbook that doesn't have the three ring binder, okay? This is very, very thick. You can put in all of the catalog and you can add these pockets to add samples in, okay? So in these pockets, I'm going to put my samples. They can just open them up. It's on the same page as the catalog. It's right there in the book. This book is designed, you guys, for people who, how shall I put this? This book is designed for people who wanna procrastinate at work, right? That's who I'm thinking of, the office worker. If there's downtime at work and they wanna, you know, they wanna just kill some time on their lunch break, maybe. So I don't wanna send, I don't wanna walk in to a doctor's office with this big tackle box, you know, be like, hey guys, just, just here to share some posh, Ooh, you know, <sighs> okay, there's just some hand creams in here, if you want to sample them, just let me know, you know, like, that's awful, like, they're not going to want to look through that, don't make it complicated, right, this binder, they can just carry it around with them, all of the binder, or all of the samples are right here in these pockets, and they can just flip through it. It can sit on their desk and they, they can just flip through. They can take samples, they can leave samples. Um, I, I've been so, okay Jenny, well you're in the right place. Awesome, because this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take this binder, leave it with an office. I usually drop mine off on Mondays and I say, hey, I'm gonna be back on Friday to pick this up. Here's what's fun. 
these kind these kinds of parties you can have someone invite you like if you have a friend that works in an office and say hey can you bring this binder to um to my office i want to pass it around yeah girl yeah i can or you can just burst in there you can just walk up in that piece if it's an office that you can just walk into be like hey I was, I've been thinking about you guys. You guys work really, really hard, and I bet you guys need pampered. Am I right? Of course I'm right. So I'm going to leave this binder with you guys. Take some, um, take the whole week, and I'll be back on Friday. Sample anything you want to, and call me if you need anything. Like, how fun is that? How many of the pink things do you have in the binder? Yeah, good question, Jade. Do you have hostess seats for these parties? Sherry, um, I sometimes have hostesses. Sometimes I'm the hostess and they can just get free shipping. Um, it really depends. You could make this a mystery hostess. Anybody who places an order um, in the party, um, you can, you know, draw a name, make them the hostess. Um, it's really however you want to do it. Um, you know, I, sometimes I don't like to do that because, you know, I can, you know, I, it's, it's hard to get into explaining the perks and the benefits. And even though I probably should, this is meant to be quick. This is meant to be wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And this is supposed to be, you know, if this was an uninvited party, if I walked into an office that I wasn't really invited to, I don't want to pick out favorites. I just want to share this. This is, this is more like I'm sharing this with your office because it's really great stuff. You know what I mean? So you can work that however you want to. Do you check to see if they need more samples halfway through the week? Sometimes I do, um, sometimes, because I don't want to come off too salesy either, right, Jessica? I don't want to be like, hi, how's it going? Did you try it yet? I don't want them to be embarrassed if they haven't. Um, or, you know, I definitely make sure that my contact information is in here, and I make sure that they know if they need more, they can always call me, um, and I can run more into their office or whatever. Um, but I try, you know, it could be, I could, or you could set that expectation. Um, you know, you could set the expectation and say, I'm going to check in on Wednesday just to see if you guys have questions or if you guys need more samples of anything. Um, so you could set that expectation at the beginning. In fact, that's probably a better idea to do that. Okay. Okay, you guys. So Jade, I'll get back to your question about how many pink binders, pink folders are in here or pink zipper packets are in here because it's going to be hard because this binder is going to fill up quicker than you expect it to. Okay, so that's the Big Fat Gummy Hand Creams. Our lip stuff. I don't include our lip stuff because why? Because it's gross, right? Not, our, not the products, but I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to put in lip balms. I'm not going to, I mean, I could send lip scrubs in. I could put a couple of lip scrubs in there, but you want to try to put some... You have to be mindful of what samples you put in your binder. How many samples, Liz? I or Elizabeth? I try to, um, I try to put like I don't know two of each, two of each product of you know on the page that I'm inserting a, a a zipper pouch. But that is completely up to you. If you just want to put one of each, that's fine too. If you want, you know, it's it's really up to you. I have three, Jenny. I have three binders, and um. You know, they're all kind of floating around in different, in different places. Okay, so on the pages that I don't have samples, I still want to make this personal, right? So I definitely have marked my favorite products, okay? And I bought a really super fancy Sharpie at the, everybody with me, office supply store. Woo! And I write in here, in the margin, I wrote, this is by far the best lip line you will ever find. Trust me, you'll need one of each. So I want them to know how awesome I think the lip line is, because this lip line, you guys, right now is the best that I've ever seen Posh have. So I want people to know that. So I put that in the margin there so people can read it nice and easy. Then it's like my input. Then it's, again, it's like I'm sitting right there, right? Jay, do you use Laycons or do you use sealed? You can use a combination of both, I guess. I am a big, big, big fan of making my own samples with Laycons. But if you have, comp you know, if you have the 
um, portal samples, then use those for sure if you have them. Okay, so that's basically it, you guys. I put here, I'm not gonna include foot stuff because like you can't sample that stuff out. Rubby Scrubby was the first pro product I ever tried and I was instantly hooked, right? So now they know. It's marked as my favorite. Now they know it is, it's the first product I ever tried. They know how much I love it. And I talk about, um, I highlight stuff. I draw arrows, I star things. Because again, this catalog is packed with information. And here's the fun thing about people. I don't trust them to read stuff on their own. So I wanna point it out to them, right? Like, did you know? And I draw a big arrow over there. You know, do you want some fancy feet? Read how. So that they are putting the effort into reading this catalog because we have such an awesome home office, you guys, that puts so much effort into this catalog. It's awesome. I want people to make sure, I want to make sure that people are reading it. And that is basically how I do this binder. I have a, um, a pink folder um, at the hand creams. On this page here with the honey honey the hippie hooray the good hydrations because it's those things are freaking amazing right so there's a pink folder here um, the body butters duh right yes sparkly arrows yes um, let's see here I don't do I don't sample out a lot of skin sticks if I'm being really honest and if I I mean, I didn't, I didn't put them in here. However, I did make my own comments along here, along the margins, and I always point out my favorite, right? So guys, this is it. I put one here for face masks because who doesn't want to try a face mask? No one I want to be friends with, right? So, and you want to be sure that you're putting in your own personal inputs on this. Like apricots overnight, I find people are a little intimidated by because they're like, I don't want to sleep with a mask on. That is so weird. Like, I don't, isn't it going to get all over my pillow? Is like, what if I drool? Is it going to be, like, it's really weird. So I always tell people who sample apricots overnight, use literally less than a pea size. Put it on like a night lotion, but use it like a lotion. And once people do that, they're like, oh my God, this is so much better. Like I was like caking it on. I was like, yeah, you, you were wrong. That's, <laughs> You were incorrect. So tell people that, you know, cackle spackle could tingle a little bit because of that kale and clay. Tell them that so that they can, you know, so that they know that ahead of time. I put one in here for totes, oats, and the stripper because I love those two products, right? And of course the look natural line. I want people to be sure if there's, if they're allergy prone, if they have sensitive skin, that there are samples in here for them. And the chunks. Of course, duh, right? And then I absolute, oh, and then the body scrubs and the snarkies because this, these snarkies, you guys, hey, bay and absolute passion fruit. <laughs> okay, those are life. Those are basically my lifeline. Um, and then I'd be, I'm sure to put in the ingredients back here so that people have a way to see what's in each of the products. And that is the binder, my friends. Like I said, at the very, very back, you could put another zipper pouch um, and include some uh, order forms if you wanted to, but I really encourage people to just go online um, and order on there. So how do you sample out the DO? What's the DOM, Hannah? I'm just drawing a blank. The, do you ever include retired items that you have in stock? Uh, no, Emily, what I do for retired items is, you know, I could say to the, um, I could say to the office, um, you know, whoever places an order $50 or more, um, you know, you'll get a free, you'll get a free product. And then I can, I send out my retired items that way. Um, Dawn on me, how do I, I buy, I do buy the portal samples of coconut oil and like Dawn on me and stuff like that that are just like weird to sample out. Mm -hmm. So 
What's another way you can do this binder? Think of all the possibilities that you can do. So maybe you don't wanna make three binders. Maybe you don't wanna keep making samples. Maybe you don't wanna keep, um, you know, have this being in circulation, right? Make one binder, take out the pockets, don't include them at all, and just put little tiny Ziploc bags of like a Lacon, um, like the little ones, like the two by three Ziploc bags, little teeny tiny guys. Use the double-sided tape and just tape that little bag, hold on, right onto the plastic, the page cover, right? For hot mess, right here. Yes, queen, right here. Beach blanket, put it right on there so people can take it off smell it and put it back. Here's what I don't like about this. I wanna get posh on people. The in, that's the interactive part of it. Um, you can put a little thing on the inside of the cover that says, this is to look, not touch. This is to smell, not use. You know, so people can kind of get as, you know, familiar with the scents. They can get um, kind of an idea of what things look like and you know, all that kind of stuff, but it's not to be used. That's a fun way to interact with the catalog. With the, uh, with the little Ziploc bags for like body scrubs, you can just put the body scrub right in the little Ziploc bag without using a Lacon. Then they can feel it, then they can see it. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways to do binders like this. Um, I like personally including samples. I want them to be able to like leaf through, take what they want, pass it on to the next person who needs a break, you know, during lunch or, um, you know, that kind of a thing and, uh, and, you know, and share it and, and use it and hopefully place an order from it. Sherry beach hair. Um, I don't sample out beach hair. Here's the thing you guys, and this is something to really remember. Um, I don't know. And I might get kicked for saying this by some people, but I don't sample out everything. I just really don't. I'm not going to stress myself out on buying things that can't be put in a lay con. You know, I don't sample out beach hair. Um, I don't really sample out skin sticks. Um, I want to, I want to reel them in with some products. I want to give them just enough of some other products that make them think, um, that they want to try something and then they'll buy stuff later. You know what I mean? You don't have to sample everything because here's the, here's the reality of it. You guys, here's the reality of it. If they were to go to, um, if they were to go to another store, if they were to go to Target and buy some hair stuff, they can't sample it. They can't sample it. So this is a, this is a, this is a nicety. This is an, a favor that we're doing for them. So yes, I will give you samples of hand creams, um, chunks, snarky bars, uh, body scrubs, um, body butters, face masks. I'll give you samples of those all day, but like there's a couple things that like, mm, well, you're just going to have to like take a chance on because if you were to go into another store, you wouldn't be able to do those kinds of things. So, you know, I don't feel too guilty about stuff like that. You know, if I can't pass it, you know, if I don't sample out everything. Thank you, Bridget. Oh my God. I'm like blushing. What questions do you guys have? Was that helpful? I hope it was helpful. Like I said, I purchased the binder on Amazon. Let's do a recap of the things that I used to build this. A binder on Amazon. It's a scrapbook three ring binder. The size is 12 by 12. It comes with pages in it, page protectors. Um, you will need, I think you're, uh, gosh, I think you need about 25 pages in each book. Um, so you're going to need to buy more anyway. So whether you, you know, splurge for the heavyweight ones, that's like totally your preference. Um, but you do, you are going to have to purchase some page protectors because the number of page protectors that come in the binder is not enough. So you need 12 by 12 binder, binder, not a scrapbook album, a binder with the three rings on it because that's the only way you are going to fit that zipper pocket and the samples in the binder with your catalog. Okay. Uh, scrapbook binder, 12 by 12 page protectors, 12 by 12 black 
cardstock or any color cardstock. Make it pink, make it yellow, make it white. You do you, girl. 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, you can do, I mean, any kind of tape. I use this double-sided tape because it's real fun, real fancy. Um, little page things to mark your favorites or little heart stickers or however you want to do that. The important thing is that you make it your own, that you, that you, that you put a personal, you don't just toss a catalog and some hand creams and be like, okay guys, you have fun with that. If you need anything, you just let me know. You know, you, you want to make sure that the, that you're using you know what I mean? That you're using your, your personality, that you're using your loves of this, of this company, of these products, and you're sharing it with them in ways that make sense, right? So, um, let me see here. What else? The, the zipper pouches. I bought those at like Office Max. Um, I think that's everything. I think that's everything I purchased. Um... Yeah, I think that's everything. Chelsea, I'll try. I'll go back and I'll look and see. Um, yeah, I'll look and see where everything is and I'll see if I can post those links for sure. Yes, Ashani, that's per that's exactly it. You want them to be able to like feel like, oh my goodness, I felt like that consultant was just right here with me. Like that's such a personal shopping experience. How What a delight. And I get to sample all this stuff, you know? So it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a fun catalog. I want to use it as much as possible. It's a really good way to get people interact and it's really easy to carry around. It's really easy to carry around. I, you don't have to put stuff in boxes and all that kind of stuff. And again, you can ship this out if you wanted to, but you got to get it shipped back, I guess. You know what I mean? Like it's not something that you just want to put out there and never get back. So I don't really, I've never done that. I don't really recommend it. This is for places that are within driving distance of your house. You can drop it off, share it. In schools, share it with your teachers. Um, you, you, get the, you get the gist. Okay? Guys, thank you so much. It is always so awesome hanging out with you guys. It is always a pleasure. Um, I hope you guys are rocking the month of March. This catalog is everything. So I hope that you guys are getting some awesome sales and putting some awesome numbers on the board. I hope you guys are getting to go to a day away. I hope you guys are thinking about Uncon. I hope some of you guys are locking up grease. There's just so much stuff happening in our business. If you're not excited about it, what do you have to do? Everybody, check your pulse. If you're not excited about what's going on with Posh right now, check your pulse, sisters. There is some awesome, awesome stuff going on. And I can't wait to see all of your name up in lights. Awesome. Super exciting times. Thanks, you guys. Bye.